Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all of the rares, their locations and drops inside of the Enchanted Forest of Ashenvale. There are 12 rares in total in this zone, so this video might be a little bit of a long one. So without further ado, let's crack on with it. Apothecary Fulthus Up first we have Apothecary Fulthus, a level 22 undead inside of Bathran's Horns. This is the only mob that actually has an allegiance to Horde in this zone, so if you're our Horde you cannot kill him, but um, yeah, you're, you're fine for all the other mobs. Uh, this place is actually one of the first quests you do as Alliance, you have to go and collect some hairs. This guy's normally just roaming around at the back. There's nothing particularly special about him, he is, I guess you would consider a Warlock, he fires some Shadow Bolts and things like that, otherwise not too difficult. If you kill him, he will drop you a random green, nothing unique on this guy. Lady Vespia. Up next we have Lady Vespia, a level 22 rare that hangs around on the Zorim Strand. Now, I made a pretty big mistake when I made my Darkshore video because I mistook Lady Vespia for Lady Vespira, the rare in Darkshore that actually drops a rare item. Lady Vespia did not get the same treatment from Blizzard and unfortunately does not drop any rares and I think a lot of players have historically been quite confused because they are both Nagas, they're both on a beach and there is one letter difference so it's really weird and zones next to each other as well. Nevertheless she will drop a random green, nothing else. Mist Howler Up next we have Mist Haller, a level 22 rare wolf that hangs around near the entrance to Lake Falarthim. There's nothing really special to say about Mist Haller, he kind of looks like the regular wolves, he doesn't particularly have any interesting abilities, and if you kill him he will just give you a random green, that's all. Mugglefin Up next we have Mugglefin, a level 23 murloc who actually hangs in Lake Falarthim. Mugglefin can be a little bit of a tough fight because you know how murlocs just like to all pile in and attack you at once. If you're not careful with this guy you may end up pulling a couple, I was quite lucky here because I am also kind of high level so I can sneak in there but this is generally quite a hard fight for a low level player. If you kill Mugglefin he will give you a random green. Just a quick note, he is fairly resistant to frost damage as well, so that's something to be aware of if you're a frost mage or you like using frost shock. Rogish Jowl Up next we have Rogish Jowl, a level 25 furbog that hangs around in Thistlefur Village. I don't know about you, but every time I've ever questioned Ashenvale, I've ended up running into this guy. He may have a really low respawn timer, I'm not really too sure, or I may just be really lucky, but he seems to be pretty much the staple rare in Ashenvale. The fight itself with him is pretty easy, just make sure you don't pull loads and loads of furbongs, and you'll be absolutely fine. Kill him, and he will give you a random green. Acrylus Up next we have Acrylus, a level 26 demon that roams around the outside portion of Firescar Shrine. He's pretty easy to spot, if you have any quests in this area and he's roaming you will just run into him, he just kind of patrols along the main path. He casts quite a lot of fire spells actually, he has like a big fire nova, he casts fireballs and all that sort of stuff, so pretty cool fight actually. If you kill him, he will drop a random green and that is about it. Branch Snapper Up next we have Branch Snapper, a level 26 elemental that hangs around in Iris Lake. Iris Lake is probably my favourite part of Ashen Vale, primarily because as a herbalist you can get quite a lot of life root from this zone. Not a lot of players head up this way as well, it's pretty secluded so it's really cool. 
Branch Snapper is actually quite annoying to fight because he will um, periodically knock you up into the air. And also be aware as an elemental he has quite a lot of resistance to spell damage as well. So as a spellcaster you may find the fight a little frustrating. If you can manage to kill him though you will be rewarded with a random green. Ek Alom. Up next we have Ek Alom, a level 27 water elemental that hangs around on the eastern coast of Mistral Lake. Being a water elemental that does make him just immune to all frost damage, as you'll see here I end up having to equip fireball because I, I thought oh, I'll try my luck, I'll cast the frost bolt and I'll see what happens. He was immune, I didn't even pull aggro off him which was I thought was a bit weird. But yeah, you're going to have to fight this guy with non-frost damage spells which is okay for most people, just not for me. Killing him is pretty easy, he does water damage I believe when he hits you, so that's just something to be aware of, it's not really too bad at low level. And if you kill this guy, you will get a random green, nothing special from him. Oak Paw Up next we have Oakport, a level 27 furbolg that patrols around Greenpaw Village. You'll probably know Greenpaw Village as that place where you plant the flag and get killed by those just waves of furbolgs that attack you. This guy is sometimes roaming around there, he gets killed by players a lot actually, accidentally, but yeah, that's that. Nothing particularly difficult, when he dies he will drop a random green. Prince Raze Up next we have Prince Rays, a level 32 demon that hangs around in Saturnar. Prince Rays is all the way at the back so if you go through the main encampment you'll find him there. He's often surrounded by a number of the Felsworn Satyr blokes. He acts a little bit like a mage and he will cast arcane missiles and fire Nova and things like that so he can be a little bit dangerous. Uh, obviously being a mage I've got quite high resistances so I don't really expect a lot of that um, but yeah if you're kind of don't have resistances or anything, you may have trouble. If you kill him, he will give you, surprise surprise, a random green, and that is about it. Terrorwolf Packlord Up next we have the Terrible Packlord, a level 32 Worgen that hangs around in the Howling Vale. To get to the Howling Vale you'll want to head on the road north out towards Felwood. There is a very very small path that leads up into a cave and then through into a little hidden area with a big temple. This guy is really hard to kill because he's normally surrounded by maybe 7 or 8 other Worgen. And he's on the real high end as well for this zone so it can be pretty terrible to fight him. However, he actually drops items, a 33% chance to drop the Wolfpack Medallion and a 50% chance to drop the Ruffled Chaplet. Both pretty good items, I would probably say the head is uh, the better one and that's good because it has a higher drop chance. Overall this is a pretty difficult fight, I would definitely take a couple of friends with you, however if you're after some really nice unique greens this is the one to kill. Ursalok. Finally we have Ursalog, a level 32 bear that hangs around in between Saturnal and Forest Song. Ursalog looks a like a pretty, pretty much a typical bear and can quite easily be mistaken for one and it'd be quite easy to forget this guy just on the way as he's pretty much just packed in with a bunch of other bears uh, in the area so very easy to accidentally miss. That being said, it's not really too much of a loss either. I thought it would be a little bit more exciting considering we've just had the Terror of Pack Lord with all this unique loot. This guy will just drop you a random green. However, I will say this, he has a crap ton of health and I have no idea why, he just does. In this case, I was lucky and I actually got two greens. You may not be so lucky, but you will be guaranteed at least one. And that concludes this Ashenvale video, that is all 12 rare mobs, their locations and loot. 
And overall, the zone is actually really disappointing. I can't believe out of the 12, there is only one that has unique loot. Oh well. If you like the video, please do let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more like this in the future, subscribe to the channel.